Welcome to our lesson on the angled bisector theorem converse. The goal of the video is to state and prove the angled bisector theorem converse. The angled bisector theorem converse tells us that if a point is in the interior of an angle and equidistant from the sides, then it lies on the angled bisector. So if we consider this point here on the interior of this larger blue angle and that it's equidistant to the blue rays that form the angle, meaning this green segment here is congruent to this green segment here, then this black point must lie on the angle bisector as we see here in red. Let's see if we can prove this. We're given that segment ED is congruent to segment FD and the length of ED and the length of FD are the shortest distance to ray AB and ray AC. We want to prove that ray AD bisects the blue angle, angle BAC. Let's take a look at a larger diagram and talk about a strategy before we write this out. So again, we're given that this segment is congruent to this segment, but since we're also told that the length of these two segments is the shortest distance to these two blue rays, this tells us that these segments must be perpendicular to the rays. This is important because now we have two small right triangles, one here and one here. So if we can show that these two triangles are congruent, then we can state that angle BAD is congruent to angle FAD and therefore this ray would bisect the larger blue angle. Now what's a little tricky about this one is that we know that the two right triangles share side AD and of course segment AD is congruent to itself. But notice how the corresponding parts of these triangles are angle side side, are side side angle. And remember side side angle does not prove that two triangles are congruent. However, since we know that these are right triangles, we can prove they're congruent by the hypotenuse leg congruence. The corresponding hypotenuse and corresponding legs are congruent and therefore these two triangles are congruent again because they are right triangles. So let's go ahead and write this out. Again we'll start by stating the given. So again because we know that the length of ED and the length of FD are the shortest distance to these two blue rays. Segment ED must be perpendicular to ray AB and segment FD must be perpendicular to ray AC. And again the reason for this is the shortest distance from a point to a line is always perpendicular. And now because we know these segments and rays are perpendicular, we know that angle AED and angle AFD are right angles. This is by definition of perpendicular lines. And if these two angles are right angles, triangle AED and triangle AFD are right triangles. By definition of right triangles. This is important to state because this is important to state if we want to use the hypotenuse leg congruence to prove that these triangles are congruent. So for step five we'll state that side AD is congruent to itself. This is by the reflexive property. And again, this is enough to prove that these two small right triangles are congruent. This segment is congruent to itself. So triangle AED is congruent to triangle AFD. And this is by the hypotenuse leg congruence theorem. which again only applies to right triangles. So now we know that the corresponding parts of these two triangles are congruent. So angle BAD 
is congruent to angle FAD. This is because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are also congruent. And if these two angles are congruent, ray AD must bisect the larger blue angle, or angle BAC. This is by definition of angle bisector. Now there's one more thing I want to point out before we finish this video. Because the angle bisector theorem and its converse are both true, we can state a biconditional statement, or an if and only if statement, which would be a point is on the angle bisector of an angle if and only if it is equidistant from the sides of the triangle. And I think we'll stop here for this video. I hope you found this helpful.